hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Cool. They can hear me there. Okay, you could hear me. I just saw my mouth moving. My bad. I ain't know my uh mic frequency thing wasn't working. But anyway, so I'm gonna start all over because I I see we got you know some some people watching on both channels. So I'm gonna start all over. So I want to get into this little Nas X reaction. I and I don't even really want to get into you know so much of the content of the video. As much as I want to talk about like what everybody's responses have been and what I'm seeing like really pop up on my timeline that has become a little concerning as it relates to black folks and how they view homosexuals, how the black church views homosexuality, how homosexuals view the church and 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 their community. There's been like, yo, we this video has brought out some very interesting qualities and characteristics of people that I would normally say, hey, you pretty chill. Um, but the truth of the matter is, is I feel like this. I personally am an intelligent, amazing, strong, black, bisexual man that loves God that believes that God loves him and believes that God loves you, Christ, and Lil Nas X all the same. That's what I believe. And personally, here's what I'm going to say, especially since it's springtime and it's time to do some spring cleaning. If you can't agree to disagree with me on that topic, then you may want to exit my friends list and so forth because I offer no apologies for believing very strongly in all of that. Yes, I'm black. Yes, I'm intelligent. Yes, I'm, I believe I'm a great dude. I believe I have some really great qualities as a man in growing up in this society. I'm not going to discount that about myself because I know myself. Well, you know yourself, you can stand in your truth. But I also know I'm a bisexual man. I also know where my attraction lies. I have dated some amazing, amazing women. And I have dated some amazing men on all spectrums. Light skin, from, I mean, I'll, I'll go up and down, listen. And I, what I, one thing that I've realized from the whole experience is that we all human. Everybody trying to make it in. Everybody trying to figure out life just like the next person. So why we continue to, to divide and cut each other down is beyond me, especially especially from a, a, a church perspective, to see how the church responds and continues to respond to the presence of homosexuality in the church when it's so rampant, it's disgusting sometimes. I can understand why homosexuals feel the way that they do and anybody else struggling with their sexuality feel the way they do about the church. I've seen it firsthand with my I've seen it firsthand how we how the church has the propensity to ostracize as opposed to include. And it's an ugly thing and it's causing this knee jerk reaction where people are now responding to the church with middle fingers up. And I don't think that that's the response that we need either, the church, especially the black church. Yo, we don't need to be cutting. I mean, we we got so many sections of this. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how we have compartmentalized even the church. If the pandemic didn't do one thing, it shut all of that down. You can tune in to whoever you want to tune in to now. Go for what you know. Go for what you believe. Because all, ain't nobody looking at you and telling you that you're not qualified to be there. Ain't nobody judging you when you sit here and seek a relationship with the God that we all say and we hear and want relationship with. The judgment has to cease. The judgment has to cease. Because by those same standards will you be judged. And I guarantee you, from the only fans that I've been seeing, 
Listen, it's nasty across all spectrums. It's, I mean, ain't nobody exempt from the nastiness that's going on as far as sex is concerned. And all wires are getting crossed. All wires are getting crossed. And we are approaching a, a, a generation that are saying F the lines, blurring all of it. Because the truth of the matter is, is that it's always been blurred. <laughs> Let me tell you, I know so many straight people who are living straight lives, but yeah, I know so many straight people who used to be, but decided to pursue another path, and that's cool, like, yo, no disrespect, more power to you, but the spectrum ain't never been nailed in stone. Oh, you, I mean, yo, we not going to talk about the high school experiences that everybody, the garbage school experience. We know we not going to try to act like it don't happen. We not about to act like that, people. It's happening. It's happening. We nasty. We been freaking before OnlyFans. It's just now being publicized. And the truth of the matter is, it's in the church, it's in the White House. It's, I mean, like we just had a president who said, I grab women in the, and, and we voted him. He said, yo, give me more of that. We want this guy. You know, we believe in, we believe in those principles. Yo, yo, we not about to try to act like what Lil Nogs is displaying we ain't seen before in some variation, shape, form, or another. Like, yo, if you watched the, the video, truth, you would have caught a lot of symbolism. Yes, the video was very erratic. It also had a lot of symbolism. And, I mean, I'm not going to get into it. You know, I ain't here to dissect the, the video. What, what's concerned me more is how our response to it and just how we are coming at it. Man. I respect everybody on my timeline that don't believe in God because I know I got a bunch of them, a whole bunch. I respect y'all. I ask that you respect me the same. I act because I do. Because I do. And if you can't love, support, and respect me and my beliefs as I do for you, then, yo, we going to have to agree to disagree or, you know, I holler back in another season. But the anti-gay, the anti-black, the anti-all this, yo, we got to cut it. It's dead for me. It's dead. And I don't really, I rarely even go live. I rarely even, you know, respond to what's current in the culture. Because, you know, everything in the culture is, it comes and goes. By the time you even got a reaction, you know what I'm saying? Everybody didn't react it. And everybody didn't see it, and you know what I'm saying? And it's old news because something else is new. So I rarely even pause for this, but I'm only pausing because of the responses I'm seeing on my freaking timelines. And it's like, yo, y'all real ugly today. Y'all real ugly. It's bringing out some real ugliness, and I think we need to talk about it. Let's not ignore it. Church folks, gays, I'm mad at y'all. Y'all have done the gays wrong with your judgment. Gay folks, yeah, you may have to forgive the church folks because they know not what they do. They know not that the God that they gonna that they send that they profess and believe, if he actually gonna meet them on the other side, he's gonna meet them to talk to them about all of that judgment that they passed on you in their life. And trust me. By that same measurement, will you be judged? That's the good book. You can't avoid that if you're a believer. That's the promise. Black folks, gays are hurt by black folks. Like the black community, the way we have, we do gays, and like we all, we got our own issues. Your brother, your nephew, your niece, I guarantee you better ask somebody if they straight, straight, for real, for real. But they may be scared to even admit that because growing up in a black family, you know, we don't want nothing against them. Ain't no man, man up, man up. Didn't, what? Who said you're not a man? 
Who said that, bruh? You got to be a man to, to be gay out in these streets, to, especially if you want to own it. And, and dating? And this, it, man, don't even get, get me started. Don't even get me started. It, I listen, it ain't easy on either spectrums. It ain't easy. I just wish we get back to a point where we, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say this, I'm going to shut up. I wish we get back to the point where we make love the center. And I know that sounds very cliche, but everybody need a little bit right now. We got grief. Everybody, you know, I mean, even if you made it through the pandemic on escape, because I've heard people say, man, this was the greatest experience of my life. You cannot ignore the amount of grief and pain that's going on. I, the suicide rate is off the chain. We just watched the Mary, uh, the Harry and Megan interview with Oprah, and she was talking about how she was ready to kill herself and her baby. Listen, suicide is in the castle. It's in the classroom. It's in a pulpit. It's, 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 it's in the streets under the viaduct. Yo, these are real issues we are experiencing right now. And that, and we can't ignore that, but we want to sit here and and debate off of, come on, man. We got some bigger fish to fry. And I'd be glad when, as a community, we get focused on what's real. Because the truth of the matter, I ain't about to get into black politics, but we got some other ish that we need to be working on than trying to, judge somebody for who they take in their bedroom who you brought in your bedroom you sure you you sure god good with that you sure because from my standard all saying and came short from every measure every measure ain't nobody perfect on no measure no measure none that's the truth but anyway I just want to sign on. Thank y'all for hearing me out, man. That's my reaction. I'm going to try to edit this and put this on my uh, YouTube page. Y'all can go follow me on Instagram, Federal Online, or Federal Online Down, uh, dot com on my uh, website. Got all the information there, but that ain't really what all of this is about. I really am. I found, I'm finding it hard to stomach what i'm seeing you know what i'm saying and i i never ever responded like this but y'all wilding out if i see another anti-christian ah, what is it what does it do to tear down the church especially when the black church is such a pillar of our community you could bet that it's touching somebody that's important to you so you may not want to tear it down we probably just need to rebuild it and rebuild it reconfigure it and the black church needs to be redone that's why doors are closed i'm so glad the doors are closed because we were so distracted by what everybody was doing and when and who was coming and who now you get to seek god for yourself and you really want him you about to spend that time seeking them. If you really believe, you about to spend that time and this time and go back and look over your 2020. How you spent that time is a reflection of you. It's really a reflection of all the things that are important to you. Because stuff got shut down and what you allowed in your circle and in your space, that was what was you. That was what you desired, you wanted, the things that were real to you. Now that things are opening back up, the question is, are we about to return worse than we were before we went into the pandemic? <laughs> you ain't learned nothing. You, you ain't talked to God. You ain't prayed, said, Lord, Lord, nothing. Man, Jack, I love everybody. I hope everybody loves me because that's what I'm about. If you ain't trying to love on me like I love on you, you know, hey, I see you when I see you. My prayers to you. God bless you. Happy trails. That's me. I ain't got nothing but love for you because we dealing with a world full of hate. Who got time for that? Whatever. So with that said, this is my life.
I appreciate y'all for listening. I'm about to sign off. <sighs> Go get some of this California sunshine. Because, man, I I may need to just stay off of the net a little bit. Because y'all didn't work. I mean, if one more person inbox me about, yes, I seen the video. I, this is my reaction. You know, my reaction ain't really to the video. It's to the reactions to the video. The, the video was erotic. A lot of messages. I get what he's saying about call my name. I, uh, supposedly, my tarot is his name. I'm not a big Lil Nas X fan. I thought the video was okay. All right. I didn't even know Lil Nas X. You catch them lyrics too? That's real life. It's men living like that. That boy telling some truth. Y'all better go find out what's going on with your brothers, sisters, and nephews, and uncles, and why they was really, really wrong with them. Y'all won't let these people live their life and all this judgment. People want to try to get out the closet. For real, for real. I'm out.